It's not every day you see a coin collection quite like this, and this is a stunning set of Morgan dollars and some peace dollars in there as well. And it does have an interesting collectability element to it, but it also has a bit of a tarnished past in terms of the price that somebody would have paid for this set when new from the private company that sold it at a really extortionate price. So let's examine it, let's have a look at it and see what it's all about in today's In Focus Friday. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's In Focus Friday where we have a good close look at something cool made of silver or gold. And today we have a really quite special collection of 28 US silver dollars Bit of a difficult box to film with as it's so big, but as you can see here, brilliant uncirculated US silver dollars in a nice box. And there are 28 coins, 22 of which are Morgan dollars. Very, very interesting coins, lovely old school US coinage, which is very popular and very collectible. And there are six peace dollars in here as well. So we know a little bit about peace dollars and Morgan dollars. I've done videos on them before. Lovely coins, very collectible. And this set, which includes a date run of all of them, does represent an interesting collection. Now this came through as part of the Backyard Bullion Buyers Club and we sold it on behalf of a seller. It, however, does have a somewhat, I don't know, shaded history in that this set is sold by a private company here in the United Kingdom at extortionate prices. I've done videos recently about the Raw Mint making very, very high level price decisions on some of their products but these coins will have been sold out from the company i'm not going to name the company because and people will criticize me for this i know but i don't care not naming them because they're not technically doing anything illegal they're just pricing coins at an extortionately high price and um and we're talking sort of 100 plus per morgan dollar 145 even sometimes more it, it is crazy uh so you know they are I think overpricing and they're taking advantage of people who just want to have the collection. It's a sad state of affairs and the gentleman who sold uh, this collection this week and uh, told me uh, that a whole brand new set of this from the mint in question, from the company in question, would have cost upwards of £4,000. Now I did a market valuation of this at uh, £1,100 including postage and I think that's a fair price to ask for this set and the reason for that is that the coins in this set are actually pretty good now the question they're in slabs but they're not in NGC or PCGS slabs so the question of whether or not these are uh, sort of genuine certified I mean that they've all tested correctly on Sigma machines so I've tested that they are genuine coins at least but the, there are questions about whether or not they are in that uncirculated condition could they be generally um, graded by the big grading companies as that condition. It's difficult to know. I am not a, a coin grader, I, so I don't know the answer to that question. And we have to kind of take it at face value, really, and just put faith in a third-party company that has developed this product and put it out to market. And it is quite expensive, brand new from that particular company. So it's always difficult to know whether or not it's something that is a good deal. So when you are out there as a consumer looking to buy these kind of coins and products, it is always very important to do as much research as is humanly possible to ensure that you're getting the right prices. Now, let's see if we can have a close look at some of these. I know the lighting is not particularly great here today, but we can see they're very nice, very interesting collection, all sold. It's very well presented in these little uh, encapsulated coin slabs. But as I said, it is difficult to really know and put value on these. And it does somewhat play into those kind of coin collecting um, you know, habits where you just want to get it all done. And if you're after a date run of these coins, it is unfortunately a sort of market out there that people will quite happily pay well over what they could pay just to get it done. And I've kind of been there before in the past, you know, certain coins that I've wanted to uh, make sure I complete my collection with and I've paid probably more than I should have done for them. But, you know, this, this does represent quite a lot of premium on these coins from this private company and um, it's certainly something to be wary of. And I know there are a lot of people out there who will 
um, you know, have sets like this uh, that may have paid a lot of money for them and then they'll weep uh, when they hear what realistic fair market prices and values would be for these particular coins. Now, as I said, I priced this up at £1,100 for the set, which works out at about £36, £37, I think, per, uh, per coin. And I do think that even these coins are good. There's no doubting that they are they're higher grade than your bog standard Morgan dollars. So the company has done a half good job of getting some good coins in there. But whether or not they have been cleaned before or whether they're just, you know, not quite in that uncirculated condition is a question for grading companies. That said, these Morgan dollars in a date run, they do get good prices on secondhand markets. I've seen easily uh, the price points of 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds on various different Morgans in uh, the UK. So pricing them at around 38 pounds uh, per coin, I think is a fair market value. Uh, and it did sell, they sold this week to a new owner. So hopefully the new owner will be able to uh, get it, to enjoy it and uh, have it in their collection and have that date run. I mean, it's really special. If I had more money than I could count, I would probably hold on to this set as it is, it's something that speaks to me as a kind of coin collector. I have uh, and enjoy, so here's an example. This coin up here looks like it's been dipped. Um, you know, that does look very much like a dipped silver coin that's been polished or cleaned. And that's not what a uncirculated coin, condition coin, would end up being in terms of grading. And this one looks a little bit, a little bit too shiny as well. So, you know, from the perspective of understanding, educating yourself about products like this, it's really important to do the research. Um, reach out to um, people who know more than you do. That's how I have done this. And I reached out to a number of different people this week when I was looking to sell some of the bits that I have been selling. And it's really great to get knowledge out there. Even someone like me who's been doing this for a long time doesn't know everything. And I certainly don't know everything about Morgan dollars and Peace dollars and their collections. And putting a price on something that will actually sell is an art. It really is. And you have to get you have to get it right. Otherwise things just end up lingering and don't sell. And then you have problems because you're just not liquidating the cash that you've got. So another example, uh, the same collection. We've got all of these old silver coins in here that I need to go through and do the research on every single one. It's difficult, takes time and is hard to do. And it is not for the faint of heart to ensure that you're getting good value for money. Sometimes it can be easy or seem easy just to go ahead and purchase something and be done with it, especially if you're trying to build up a date run of coins. So we're gonna pack this all away and it's gonna go off to its new owner. Hopefully they will enjoy it as much as the uh, old owner of it did. And despite the fact that it was that sort of high price point um, earlier on in its lifetime, um, I think, well, I'll put that one in second to last. Um, I think that it uh, is a really nice set, all things told. If you get something like this for a good price, then it represents, I think, a really interesting kind of collection. So I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below about um, practices like this where private companies will charge extortionate amounts for um, new sets or old sets or just conglomerated sets. I've got another uh, from the same producer same producer, same company that made this set put together, but of US half dollars. And uh, that one is even more extortionate in terms of price points. And maybe maybe we'll do a video on that one at some point. But um, yeah, it, it's sad, really. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there who are sitting on coin collections that they think are worth thousands more than they actually are. And reality can sometimes be a hard uh, nuts to swallow. So anyway, it is what it is. Thank you all for joining me for this week's In Focus Friday. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed seeing this set. I know a lot of people out there in this world wouldn't see something like that altogether. And it's been quite a cool thing for me to see and to have to show on the channel. So that's it from me. Thank you to all my Backyard Bullion Ramblers. Let's open that lid again so you can all see the shiny. Uh, thank you to my Backyard Bullion Ramblers and the Cool Kids Club's members. I do appreciate your support of our channel. If you want to support our channel further than just watching our videos, you can head on over to our website where you can see some of our 100 gram silver bars, which are still in stock, as well as our 10th ounce gold bars. Every little purchase goes a long way to help do what we do and do what we do best and bring content like this and also be able to continue on with making sales of really cool old school bits of silver so if you want to support more that's how you can do it best 
Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.